Ooh. Zero feet of curve. I'll buy you lunch if your total feet of curve on these shots is under 20 feet. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. Today it's another installment of the best of 2023 series. Today we're looking at those beautiful blade irons. We've got five models here in the fitting base for 2023. Kevin's gonna get some shots. We're gonna talk you through all of the information, the data, and of course, we're gonna get Kevin's feedback on the look and feel as well. Golfers, if you're one of those golfers in this category looking for a blade, this is the video for you. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments which of these five blades is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at our Columbia store here, though today in the Twin Cities. Yeah. Um, it's not even, I mean, you've been here now three different times and you haven't been able to play golf any of the times yet. There's, there's grass though. There's, there's grass this, this, this time. This time there's grass. Yes, you can see grass, I, brown I, grass, but grass. It's, yeah, it's, it's not green, but it, you can at least see it, at least yeah. in spots. So progress is being made. It, Maybe yes, you'll be able to golf yes. in the next month. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be good. Yeah. But, uh, for today's purposes, we're inside. Um, mm -hmm. We've got five blades, muscle back irons, um, best of 2023. So in this category, this, I mean, these are for the players that are hitting the center of the face practically every time. And if they miss the center of the face, it is by millimeters. And these players are looking for complete workability and not really needing forgiveness at all. Above my pay grade. <laughs> five irons today, Mr. Kraft. Okay. Um, well, five, seven irons. Yes. Uh, yes. Five irons, no. That would make um, it even more difficult. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do that myself either. So but we got it's five <laughs> models today. Yep. Cobra King Muscleback yep. or MB. Yep. Uh, the Ping I-59. Yep. Mizuno Pro uh, 221. Yep. Shrixon Z4, just a new one. Yep. And then uh, lastly, the TaylorMade P7MB, which is also yep. relatively new for us. Yeah. So um, in these, I mean, is there any of these that you've been fitting a lot? I know this is a category that isn't fit very often. Nope. So are these kind of just... Nope. All new we for just, you? The, it's, it's every now and then these get thrown into the mix, but I do not do a lot yeah. with these. Um, I mean, it's just a very, very tiny fraction of golfers. Yeah, and it's it's amazing these, how but... much emphasis is put on these. Yeah. Um, given that it is such a small fraction of the, the golfing public that goes into these things. Yeah. All the all the young guys coming through, you know, all the yeah. guys, all the guys at the store, they all want yeah. they all want to play So right. if you're a gearhead or if you're a really, really, really good player, yeah. this video is for you. Um, yeah. if you are not a better than scratch player who strikes their irons really well. Maybe go check out the game improvement irons or the player's distance irons or the player's cavity irons videos that we did like this. Yeah. But um, otherwise, we'll get started here hitting some shots. Kevin yeah. will do his best to hit these butter knives. Yeah, I and, apologize uh, for what this is gonna look like. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some data. Okay. Zero feet of curve, that's what we're talking about. Zero feet of curve. Well, that'd be great if I'd squared up the face. Well, I squared up the face that time. <laughs> yeah, okay. These golf clubs, man. What, the, the extra the extra curve that that happens? And you don't need it? Ah, it's just, there. you look down and it's just like, there's just- There's nothing there's there. not much yeah. there. Yeah. Not the most confidence inspiring. It's not. Well, how does it feel when you hit it solid? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's typically how they're designed. I mean, that's, yeah. Pure. That was the best strike. 120? That, that was the best strike. Oh. Yeah. So okay. the P7MB. Yeah. Pretty soft feel, I imagine. Ah, yeah. Buddy. Pretty, uh, it's a cool dispersion circle. Oval, I guess. Not really a circle at all. Yeah, it's it's not a circle. This is, I think, what you see though, because especially with blades, where there's so much more workability, <sighs> right? Yeah, yeah. So for a player like you that swings it well, when that ball does curve, it's going to curve a little bit more than yeah. other models, and when either side, so that it's going to get a little bit wider, but you're yeah. also going to see it like this one, too. Yeah, one thing I definitely think we should see is is less north south yeah. variation. That's yeah. going to be the case for I think yep. all of them probably. Yep. But, um, this thing looks awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's it's small, it's beautiful. Um, somewhat terrifying. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the new one, or newest one, I believe, of the set, Strixon. Ooh, okay. Z yeah. Forged. So I've spent Mark the II. least amount of time with this golf club. I think I've hit maybe five shots with it. 
Um, it looks good. It looks a little longer blade length than what we saw with the uh, with this P7 MC. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. It's chromy. Yeah, chromy. I, I you know, I kind of like chromy in a blade. I don't know. It does. It just brings out the uh, how do I put this the right way? The 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 elegance of the craftsmanship a little yes. bit more when mm. it has the shiny chrome. Yes, the elegance. I like that. I like that a lot. Yep. Good looking golf club. Immediately some good ball speed right away, which we're not super concerned with ball speed nope. with this with these cat these irons, but so these irons probably should go a little shorter than what you're used to, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you're typically carrying, you said in the 170s. Just, yeah, like 170, 171, 172 is what I've been kind of carrying. playing playing at. And so I'd expect maybe five yards, six yards shorter. Yeah, I gotta say those are pretty good swings there. Those yeah, overall, you know, a little hanger on the last one, but ball speed seemed to be pretty good. I mean, I didn't really lose a whole lot there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you had the one that hung out right at the very end, but really, yeah. I mean, we're gonna see this whole thing where it's like, I guess from your perspective, it's gonna be, you know, short right or long left, yeah. kind yeah. of that diagonal yeah, pull, little pulls gonna jump a little yeah, bit more yeah, go a little yeah. further sure absolutely uh, i think we'll see a pretty consistent trend on that yeah. but interesting um, i swung that one three miles an hour fast oh wow i mean we're using the same shaft i mean yeah the, you know, yeah I, I don't know got but, frisky with this one maybe the maybe the extra blade length gave me a lot more confidence to, to swing at it maybe who knows who knows ah uh, we got Mizuno. Yeah, two, two, one. Mizuno. Pure chrome. Yeah, more chrome. More chrome. I mean, it's just it's funny. I we've been going through the progression throughout the day of game improvement up to blade. Yeah. I think we should have mixed it up in between just for the stark differences in sound and feel. Yeah. Like huh. hearing these irons, how soft they are. Yeah. They're going to like a you know, stealth HD or something like that yes. would have been pretty crazy. God, oh. That just felt so good. That was a, some that, speed on that. That one. felt so good. Yeah, more spin too. More speed and yep. more spin. Yep. Which is not a bad combination. It is not. With irons. Interesting. So... <laughs> Funny how that shape is showing up again. Yeah, it is. It, it's it's playing out very consistently, yeah. right? So the spin, I think that's the big topic yeah. with that so yeah. far. The spin going up by four to five hundred yep. RPM, yep. maybe even more. And it's actually resulting. I mean, it results in less distance. But yeah. um, I wonder did like launch? Yeah, it launched higher. A little higher. Average height was higher yep. with steeper landing angle. So yep. interesting. Super control. Yeah. Super control. Got and I know right. we said that spin is forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> Not with this. <laughs> right. Right. Um, there is no uh, such thing as forgiveness really with these. No, cars. you're just, you're just not going to get that. So. No, for sure. Um, I 59 here. Okay. The ping. All righty. How's that one look? Is that one any, so any thicker? I love, I love looking down on the pings because they look like they've got so many more grooves than anybody else. They're micro max. Like, they do. It just I looks, mean, they do. Yeah. It really looks it's just, noticeable. It's a little bit it's stark when you compare it to something else. Yeah. 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 Um, there is a purpose there. As yeah. It, yeah. You know, I mean, again, but, small blade, blade length. Um, yeah. Just good. Good little yeah. players club. Yeah. Okay. So the spins going back down to where we yeah. are used to it. Yeah. Here. I think that ball speed's going down too. I didn't hit that one all that great. Mm. Well, I was technically right still. That might be better. Okay. So definitely lower spin than yep. we had been yep. seeing. There's that shape again. Yeah. There. Yep. 
It's so pretty good. Pretty good series of shots. Have three irons that have spun at the same rate, ish. Yeah, and one that and was. And the Mizuno is just spiked for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right, the last nice. one, Cobra King MB. All righty. Is there any of the irons that you thought has looked the smallest so far? That one. I this, thought when, this, I only asked that because tiny. I handed it to you and I got to look at the top line. And I'm like, that yeah. looks like it's. This really one looks. Small. This one looks tiny. Yeah. Looks awesome though. Okay. Really thin. That's what those clubs are designed for. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so that was it actually kind of worked. It's pretty. It was pretty good miss, honestly. So, you know what that is? That's forgiveness. It's forgiveness. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. More better. Ooh. Zero feet of curve. Whew. I'll buy you lunch if your total feet of curve on these shots is under 20 feet. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good start. <laughs> You're offering me free lunch. I'm, I'm going to work for it. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh boy, I lost a bunch on that That's one. That's a tough one. I got two more and I got what? Eight. You got eight feet got to work eight with. Eight feet to work with? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, two zeros and four shots is pretty impressive. The other one, <laughs> and then a one on top of that. <laughs> And lunch. Yes. Wow. Yes. So what is that? 15? Is that the total of 16? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. So we'll go like this. I keep doing this way dif <laughs> a difficult way than a more difficult way. Okay. Interesting. We have an cool. outlier on the map. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, never got, I never got one left. Yeah. Because so lunch that, was on the line. That's apparently. true. You're thinking about lunch. Yeah. yeah. Um, now I owe you lunch because <laughs> you curved it. You know, that's how does that happen? Your averages on these are 16, 8, 14, 17. I tell you to get under 20 total. Which in, was a bad bet anyway, because none of them are over 20. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So this was this was interesting because it's kind of find itself in the sort of towards the top of this with the uh, yeah. Mizuno, right? And yeah. The spin. Now, do you think that's anything has to do with the club face being maybe a little more open or no? Yeah, I'm sure it does. I mean, uh, I mean, actually, it really wasn't the club face open. It may have been because it's, it's well, 1.9. But if our trend is centered to slightly right, yeah. then we are going to be at least slightly okay. open. So I would expect maybe a little higher launch. Yeah. Though it really didn't play out as particularly higher. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm kind of like I'm interested. But in with how it all works you know, out. potentially with a little bit more spin, this was second best in terms or equal second best in terms of smash factor. We noticed one thing that we'll, we've seen throughout the day is you know going from game improvement where smash factor was like one four five. Yeah. You know down to one four zero one three eight yeah now, now we're at one three five and one three four even. that's a combination of two things it's kind of three things it's a combination of the fact that clubs have more loft yeah they have less tech and then they're harder to hit yeah so you know when we're comparing uh smash factors when i'm looking at that efficiency and somebody's testing out you know maybe they're not sure whether they want to go player distance or, or game improvement and you put that that player distance club in their hands and they see that it looks well like 790 looks bladier right yeah you know, it doesn't have all that all that back and you see the the smash factor fall you know if we're doing one two eight versus one three six yeah, right. right and that, that's where you then, probably then they really have to make a, a decision bit. whether whether they want to challenge themselves going forward yeah so i would have to really decide whether i want to challenge myself going if, forward. if you were to play the muscle and i kind of know i think i think i know your answer to that yeah um so you can look at the numbers here um i mean we well, I mentioned clearly there's a dispersion outlier i mean because this, for whatever reason, you couldn't quite turn over mm -hmm. the Cobra King MB versus mm -hmm. the rest. Um, I kind of like that though. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's the smallest dispersion up there. It is. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of, I guess, yep. 
total surface area, if you yeah. will. And distance was the second longest. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you got a lot of things working for the Cobra King to be yeah. here. Um, <laughs> should we rank a little bit? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's rank. Why not? Let's rank them. All right, so Mr. Craft, uh, some really good golf shots. Uh, that's, I mean, it's a tough task to hit. It is. These irons that good. So that's asking kudos, a lot. Kudos to you. These are asking a lot. Yes, yeah. yes, they are. Uh, there's not a lot to look or hold in my hand there. No. So um, we'll start with the look. Um, okay. I know we made a comment a little bit, and they all do look similar just because they're all yep. small, yeah. thin, compact, club yep. head shapes, but yep. uh, a top three in the look of these five. Okay. Uh, Cobra again has my, yep. really has my shape. Um, I actually like the look of the Ping i59. Okay. And I would say from there, I'm going to go Mizuno. I, I really okay. quite like the look of the I know you, one. I know you talked about the, the chrome. Yes, it's very there's, chromey. There's chrome very all over chromey. there. I like, I like the chrome in a blade. Yeah. I don't know. There's just something about it. Yeah, I think yeah. It, it makes, it's just a classic, you know, you think of to classic clubs in yes. the past. And they, yeah. You know, through the 80s and 90s, those blades, yeah. they were all chrome. So um, I like that. I like that. So yeah. talk about feel now. These are all fours feel across the board. Um, but obviously, there's going to be some that may be a little bit different than others. There's, there's construction yeah, there's, methods that are a little bit different. The forging process is different. So there's a lot of about, butter in there. Yeah, there's there a lot there of butter in there. I can agree with that. So, yep, that's just going to stay over there. Uh, <laughs> Cobra King MB takes the yep. cake again in the field. Yeah, that one was absolutely fantastic. Mizuno. Yep. And I'm going to go with the TaylorMade on, okay. on that one. Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I mean, I Mizuno is obviously, they, they kind of get the most. Um, kind of flowers maybe for yeah. their feel and yeah. their process. Yep. Um, I think it did not disappoint. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's it just seems every year maybe it's a copper underlay this time. I mean they they're always doing something to fine yeah. tweak it, but it's always you know it, there's a reason Mizuno irons are played quite a bit by non-staffers. And yeah. uh, I also yep. heard you know we saw that too this year early on with the Cobras as well. Yeah. Um, on tour, so yeah. with some winners actually. Yeah. So um, and then of course you got uh, the TaylorMade, which that doesn't surprise me either. So. Yeah. Um, I was actually fit into those earlier this year, so nice. Good, that works. Good. I agree with you on that. Good stuff. All right. Uh, performance now. Yeah. So we can look a little bit at the numbers and the dispersion yeah. and all um, that good stuff. You know, the Z Forge was the was the longest. Yeah. Um, I thought that one was really quite good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's no there's no negatives in really in, in any of the numbers, yeah. right? There, it's a the, the dynamics that I want to see, mm -hmm. height, spin, landing angle, all good throughout. Yep. And there's no real challenges in, in any of these. Um, I mean, in terms of how these are compared to what I currently play, you know, the three closest are the, the King MB, the Z Forged, and the, the P7 MB, but yeah. only by a little tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. I, was, so, I mean, the one thing I was going to mention was just the, I was looking at spin consistency number. Mm -hmm. Cobra was the one, the winner. Yeah. The winner of that followed by the P7 yeah. MB. So I was kind yeah. of looking to see if you would throw those in the mix, which you did. Yeah. Um, and then that Z Forge too, it's it's a it's a winner. I mean that that probably was the one. It's up there in terms of the most centered. Maybe mm. there's yeah. different ways to look at that dispersion yeah. map. They're all very centered besides yeah. the Cobra. But yeah. The Cobra is also the smallest. Yep. You can probably know what to expect a little bit more out of that one than the others. So, um, but I think we have at least for you. I mean, it seems like the Cobra King MB in this is the winner for you. Yeah. Yeah. You liked it the most in yep. terms of the look, in terms of the feel, yep. and then the performance was probably the most consistent for you and smallest dispersion up there. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm doing stuff here. Yeah, it, it's they're they're all terrifying. They're yeah. they're beautiful and and scary, and I don't think I want to hit them over water. And, right. Uh, yeah, they're 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 fantastic for well, those that have the the chutzpah to, to put them in their back. Right. Which I, I, I already <laughs> talked about. Very few players do, but um, golfers, if you're one of those people, um, come get fit for any of these irons. Work yeah. with someone like Kevin, and uh, we'll get you dialed in. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kevin, thank you for joining. Fun stuff. Yep.